Back in 2011, a channel called Chonecom, now known as Million Dollar Program, made a video about an alien-like thing also known as the Rake, who is a, a very popular creepypasta who is kind of like a humanoid creature thing and stuff like that. For comparison, the Skinwalker and the Rake are not the same thing, I think. Uh, the Skinwalker's a lot cooler and the Rake just kind of hangs out and on, on all fours and attacks you. Anyways, I was getting kind of nostalgic for some of these rake videos because back in the day, like a few years ago, I used to watch these and poop and pee my pants. A specific video called The Rake Creature Caught on Tape HD was a favorite of my friends and I, with the description saying that the videos were taken from Chonecom's channel. As a fun little side project to get myself occupied during this quarantine and stop sitting on my lazy butt, I thought I'd review this video and talk about all of its flaws and about how great it is. Obviously, we are viewing the video with the presumption that all of it has been faked, which is probably 99.9% .9 likely as the videos that this guy has made are, you know, kind of like a found footage movie, but, you know, whatever. We'll be reviewing it as a film, I guess. So, uh, sit back and enjoy. Hello? Hello? Oh my god, what the heck? Oh my god! What the I ran into my home after this. I tried to research what it was, but had no luck. Please help me identify this... I don't know, the text goes off the screen. From our first sighting with this horrifying creature, we can take away that... I don't know, it's in the woods or something and it screams really loud. Throughout the video, you'll start to notice a cycle of the author going in the woods, seeing the rake, and then running away. And it does get mixed up a little bit later, but um, this, is, this is pretty much the standard thing so far. I also want to point out that throughout the video, you will probably notice that this video is not in HD, as the title states. I, I know for a fact that cameras in 2011 were probably a little bit better than this one that this guy has. Maybe he just has an old one, or you know, maybe he's trying to go for that Blair Witch vibe, but I mean, even, even the Blair Witch had better film quality than this. But let's see what happened to this guy after his first encounter. I went to the locations that I saw the creature during the day. Well, this is my property. I'm sorry for the poor video quality. There's my lovely home, and here's the forest behind my house. This is the grass that uh, I had the encounter in uh, only, uh, what was it, yesterday morning on the 12th. Uh, I recently cut the grass so I could have it more visible. And I'm going to go back here in the woods and show you exactly where I had the encounter. He then proceeds to turn off his camera and then turn it back on. I'm back in the woods exactly where I saw the thing. I've never had a daytime encounter with the being, but uh, these are the woods that it happened in. Sorry for the bad light, but that's what this camera does, it does this black and white thing, but if I look up there the color turns on, unless it's really bright out. Thank you. But anyway, this is the area, right? I was standing back here, and it was crouched right here near this creek. I, don't, I couldn't tell, maybe it was getting something to drink, maybe... I don't know. It was doing something. Quite an observation. That I'm unaware of. So, I came out here and I, I caught her on video. When, when I'm out here, it's sort of that I get so scared that I go into a daze. And where I, I am numb, my, my emotions are numb, until I actually see it, then it just jumps and sparks and I just book it. And it, it, does, it really does scare me. When, it, when I see it. Or like right now, I've never had a day encounter. I've never heard anything in the day. I have no idea where the thing is during the day. I've never seen any footprints. And there's never any smell, never any residue, never anything like dead corpses, even though my cat and dog have both gone missing. That happened way in the beginning. I, I thought it because there was like a wolf in town or something. You know, I thought... This next part is pretty boring. He just starts talking about how his grandpa called coyotes wolves and how he calls coyotes wolves now too or something and how he thought they stole his dog and cat, but now he thinks the rake did it. But I'm going to skip to this part where he tells you to subscribe to his channel. Once again, uh, subscribe to this channel so you can uh, see some more videos once I get them up. Thank you. He then abruptly turns off the video camera. 
On the morning of July 14, 2011, around 1.30 a.m., I began to hear noises on my roof similar to the night before. I went out with my camera and recorded this video. I don't know what night before he's talking about, but whatever, let's just assume they're... Okay, I've been hearing some noises on my roof tonight. Hear that? Hear that? Yesterday I heard the same thing, but I didn't want to come out. The camera wasn't charged. I can hear something up there. Hear that? Hear that? I am pretty sure he is on his roof now. Karna, these are the shingles. Thank you for telling me that. Hello? Oh my god! I was startled and fell from the roof. I was uninjured. I quickly grabbed my 22 rifle and returned to the roof, but the creature had fled. This time it made no noise and did not come at me. It seems to be bald with a large round head. Its facial features can't be seen. Next time I'll try to get closer. The slow-mo of this video not only reveals this man's shingles, but also reveals the creature itself. As we can see from his astute observation, it is in fact bald. And also, he did in fact fall off his roof and survive. I'm not sure how high up his roof is, but there you go, slow-mo of him falling off the roof. I would also like to point out how this guy prioritized bringing the camera up first instead of the gun. So, you know, he can't defend himself in case this thing tries to attack him. While searching my property this evening, I found a sewer slash drainage pipe and recorded this video. Alright, so, see this, this sewer tunnel here? I found this earlier today, and I decided to come out here at night. I cannot carry a 22 caliber rifle with me, with this camera. I'm sorry, what? Uh, let me just do a quick Google search here. Okay, so I'm not a guns expert. I've never shot a gun in my life, but I'm pretty sure you can carry a 22 caliber rifle with you on your way to your little sewer tunnel, especially if you have a camera from 2011, which may be earlier, I don't know. How big is your video camera, dude? I mean, god dang, you're not Steven Spielberg. I'm pretty sure you don't have a giant freaking video camera. I mean, you can hold it in one hand and hold your gun in the other, and you can drop one of the two to shoot the thing, or shoot the thing with the camera. Also, why in the god dang would you go out here at night? If you said you knew about it earlier during the day, why would you, why wouldn't you just go there during the day? It's, I mean, you're scared of this thing, aren't you? You said you get, scared when you see it and you run away why are you going here at night when you sit like it's the only time you say you see it what the heck is wrong with you i do have a knife though thank god i'm in the tunnel oh, shit. for those that didn't see it there he is i'm walking back to my home right now as fast as i can because that thing The battery died during the last recording and I was unable to finish. I left as fast as I could, the pipe was about a quarter mile back in the forest. The thing didn't make any noises this time. I'm going back there tomorrow, during the day. Finally. Uh, I'm sorry that the video keeps cutting out. This is, this is, uh, the 16th now, it's in the day. I'm coming back to the tunnel in the day. Uh, the video keeps cutting out because I don't have any batteries. I need to go into town. I'm thinking about buying a better quality camera. I'm on the other side of the tunnel now. It's, uh the other end of the forest with the stream coming out <laughs> this part's kind of unnecessary but um, basically he finds the rake's nesting place and also he finds this dead cat so he believes that the rake killed his cat obviously none of this is real I don't know you guys what do you think that is if that's what this thing is doing the day I need to get out of here right now after finding my dead cat, I returned home as quickly as I could. I believe this could possibly be a nesting spot for this creature. Rest in peace, Shadow, October 2003, June slash July 2011.
On the night of July 28th of 2011, I once again heard noises coming from the sewer near my home. I went to try and make peaceful contact with the creature. This is the video. Okay, hold on. Okay, who in the world would try to make peaceful contact with a creature who they think just killed their cat and, you know, is out in the woods screaming at night? My camera battery died on my better camera. And so, I've been hearing, I can hear it out here. You can probably hear it in the background right now. I can hear you and I can hear cars. That's pretty much it. But uh, I'm coming up on the tunnel right now. I'm hearing the noises inside the tunnel. And I really just want to make contact with this creature. Why? Regardless. Regardless of what it, what it is going to do to me. So you literally don't care if it just rips you to shreds. As long as you get to talk to it, you're fine. I don't think anybody in the history of this planet would ever think that's a good idea. Hello? See, and, and this is the part in real life where you book it, but, you know, whatever. Hello? Hello? You mean, he never mentioned a gun, so he just kind of walked in here without a gun and just a camera. Hello? I don't know what this man's thinking. What reason do you have to contact him? I don't get it. You're just going up to him and saying hello. He's not gonna respond, he sounds like a pig. And then you run away. What do you- I don't wanna hurt you. 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 I, don't wanna hurt you. I just- I quickly ran home. Barely escaping the creature. Uh, then we get a nice little view of him. Um, there's a few questions that you would ask in real life if this actually happened. Um, one, why? And two, why would you do it unarmed? Those are some pretty good questions that I think were left unanswered by the author. On the night of July 23rd, 2011, the noise was returned on my property. I had a friend over at the time, Andrew. He is a firm skeptic and refused to believe in my encounters, even after he saw my videos. The noises were coming from a different part of my property, one that I wasn't familiar with. When we went over, over there, we made a shocking discovery. Here is the footage. This is Andrew. I haven't actually introduced him yet, but, but, uh, but, uh, yeah. oh, there it is, there it is. Did you hear that? That's the noise. Eric refused to come back out after our last experience, so we've been following this noise back here. You can hear it. See that up there? What is that? Hey, hey, do you have a light shining up there? What? Look, 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 look. Hey, look. My camera's not picking it up. No, 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 no. I, I definitely. It don't. comes right here. Look. What's that red? What is this? Is that a house? That's a freaking house. It looks like. There is no house on my property. I've never seen. There's no way that this is real. Here, 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 go forward. There's no way that this is real. I have been on every square foot of my property and never seen this before. Wait, 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 wait. Be cautious. Hey, K. 
Keep your knife ready. My camera's having a really hard time picking this up. Can you see anything in there? I can, I can see it, yeah, but I don't know. Just stay quiet. If we can hear that thing in there, we'll know what's in there for sure. Just keep moving, just keep moving. I love how chilled out uh, Andrew is compared to the main guy. Uh, the main guy is kind of like Richard Nixon from the Black Ops Zombies cutscene. Sounds like someone breaking in! It's just a storm, dick. Sit down. This thing... Hey, this thing has run at me before. This thing has come... This thing has come at me before. So I'm just warning you right now, stay cautious. If you see this thing, just turn around and run, alright? If it comes at you, la just do whatever you can to get it off you. You can use the knife, just... Is that the door? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is a definitely a door. Just, 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 wait, 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 wait. We have to make sure there's nothing in here. Just stay quiet. Is the main guy only terrified of the creature when he's around other people? Because he didn't seem that terrified earlier. There's freaking graffiti on the walls. Okay, so I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit because they're just kind of walking around in the shed right now, but my lord, this guy, he, uh, the main guy, he's really terrified right now, even though he didn't seem that terrified earlier when he was right in front of the thing. He only seems scared now because I guess there's um, a house full of graffiti on his property or something. I guess that's what he's scared of, not the rake itself. Dude, why are you telling Andrew to be quiet? He hasn't said a single thing. This he said like three words, and you're like, you're okay. screaming. You're look, you're talking right now. Okay. He's he's perfectly calm. We're gonna get up. And you're freaking out we're right now. And we're gonna walk out. We're gonna get up. And we're gonna walk out. Okay, okay, okay. Let's walk out. Let's get. Just, just go. Just go. It's gonna be Shh. Dude, you're the only one talking. You're not helping your situation right now. Also, how did you know that? Did you just- I, I mean, I, I guess it's a good assumption, but you- You were- you, you were saying hello to it really loud earlier. I, get, I mean, I guess that's why you- how you know now, but... Whatever. We escape back to the house, but we receive the clearest image yet of the creature. We will return to the broken down house in the daytime, fully armed. I don't know why you didn't do that during the nighttime, but whatever, why why not? Go go in the daytime, the time when you never see him. Go then. Sure, that makes complete sense. Me and a friend Eric went back in the woods after dusk to hunt the creature down with a twenty two caliber rifle. This is the footage we've recorded. Okay, you can keep the light on too. Okay, we're back in the woods. This is Eric. I told you he was going to come over. We have the 22 caliber rifle. Yeah, right here. With us. Um, you hear that? Alright. We're going to... So basically, they just kind of wander in the woods for a little bit and discuss their plan. They plan to meet him up in like a, a certain area, but then I think um, one of them falls down or trips on a log or something. Something like that. Oh, shoot, man. You alright? Yeah. I gotta get up this hill. Is this roped? Yeah, okay. Hold on, it's good. It's good. I've been on here before. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. 
After climbing up that hill, the guys start to wander around in the woods a little bit more until they eventually end up running into the um, the rake. I don't even know if it's the rake anymore. It's just, it's something like it. It sounds like a pig a little bit. I'm not sure if the rake's supposed to sound like that. Do you hear that? That's the thing, that's the noise that thing's been making. Come on, get up here quick. Hey, hold, hold get up. the flashlight for me. Uh, you're the light. Uh. Oh. What's going on here? Sorry. You got it, you got it. There's no footing. Okay. I'm just keeping an eye out behind you. I can feel You smell that? You smell that? Shit. Hey, look at this! It's a freaking hole in the ground. It digs holes. You feel that? Look at this. What is that? Sleeping bag or something. What's that? Bag. Is this like another nest or something? We live here. Did you hear that? Must be around here. Up there. Be quiet. Oh my god! Oh. Go, 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 go! Oh, fuck, the you dropped the flashlight! Flash get the gun! Get the gun! Get the fuck! Get the gun. I got it, I got it. Shit. Oh, I can't see anything. Fuck. I can't see anything. Just be quiet. Dude, be I quiet. got the flashlight. Be quiet. Shut up. Again, Eric is kind of the same as Andrew. He's pretty chill compared to the main guy. He's Maybe it's because he has the gun, but. <laughs> Did it, he just smiled a little bit there. I don't know what he was doing. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go back to the house, we gotta go back to the house, we gotta go, we gotta, go. We gotta find a way down, we gotta find a way down. I gotta go grab the fucking Just go straight, go, I don't care, move the flashlight, we gotta go. Let's just go, let's just go, come on, let's just go, let's just go. I can't see what the fuck. Oh, oh shit. Just go, just go, just go, just go. You go first, you go first, you go first, you go first, you go first. You go first. You go first. Just go, just go, just go. Wait for me, man. I don't have a flashlight. Just go, we gotta get back to the house. The thing moves too fast, man. Do you see that thing move? As soon as we as soon, as soon as we looked at it, that thing moved. I thought it was coming after us. I can't do this anymore. We gotta get some traps. Did you hear that? That thing still knows we're out here. Just keep going. Just keep going. Oh. I'm good. I'm good. Eric and the main guy then proceed to wander around the woods for a little bit, trying to escape the guy, and eventually they get away, I guess. For the rest of the video, nothing happens. We return back to the house. We are currently working on getting some bear traps to get set out. Or something like that. Uh, I know I'm ticked off at Eric for not getting a shot at the creature. If I had the gun, I wouldn't have run. Hopefully I can convince him to come back. This next video is probably... I think it's the last video of the the montage of videos. I just want to let you know that not, none of these videos... They, they're, they're, they're kind of like they're strung together, but they're really not. But this one's pretty good. Uh, uh, hi. Uh, it's been a long time since I've made a video. Um, I, the reason being so is because my sister down in California, I live in Washington, she became ill and I had to go down for some time to to uh, to be with her. Uh, she's better now. Um, but since I've been back, nothing has changed. It's in the attic. Yeah. I haven't been hearing uh, the noises outside as much. Um, you hear that? Since I've been back, most nights I've been hearing noises in my attic. And tonight, the noises have been the worst. I haven't been in there yet. Kitty, what are you doing? The cat never goes up there unless it's freaked out. Kitty, what are you doing? I guess this guy had more than one cat. I haven't been in the attic. 
because the guy then proceeds to walk around his house until he decides to go up into his attic i don't know how he got i don't know how he thought that was a good idea but you know you do you bro you do you whatever you <laughs> whatever you only live once or twice maybe maybe thrice <sighs> He then proceeds to make his entire body go up into the attic. I don't know what this guy was thinking, but whatever. Hello? Hello? The guy then starts to touch what I can only assume to be like foam insulation from the wall that the rake teared out. And then he starts smelling stuff and I assume that he smells the rake's poop, but I can't be sure. I, he says that it smells bad, so, but uh, I'll have to take his word, word for it. I think it's just, I think it's just a raccoon. And there seemed to be our final shot of the rake, or, I, I don't know, alien thing, or something like that. It was in his attic, hanging out, ripping up drywall, ripping up insulation, causing a bunch of property damage, but wait. This video was taken by a construction worker at 10 p.m. on December 22nd of 2011. I guess it has no audio, so we're just gonna have to... I don't know, I'm gonna have to co uh, do a commentary on it um as we can see the guy is walking around doing basically the same thing as the main guy except in a you know just kind of walking around aimlessly looking with a flashlight instead of you know having i don't know maybe a bigger light um <laughs> that's it <laughs> that was it that was actually my first time watching that so i did not know that would happen um i thought he would show up somewhere but maybe he did i don't know i wasn't barely paying attention so what do we have to take away from these videos well nothing really besides that the rake is a naked guy that hangs in the woods so never go in the woods anymore kids and also um i don't know this guy did a pretty good job with the, at least with the makeup you know it looks pretty the rake looks pretty good he's got a pretty good costume especially with the head and stuff but or maybe it's just a puppet actually it's probably not it well the earlier ones it definitely was a dude but um that one that i just showed was probably a puppet but overall, I'd say good job. I'd give you a, um, four, um, no, not a four out of ten. I'm gonna give you a five out of ten because the acting was pretty bad. Um, Andrew was my favorite character. Andrew, Eric was probably second, but the main guy, he suffered a lot from just being kind of annoying and making really dumb decisions. But Andrew and Eric were, you know, they were pretty top tier. They, they were smart. Overall, this experience is comparable to watching the Blair Witch Project for the second time. The first time you watch it, or at least for me, um, it was kind of scary, but then the second time you watch it, it's not so scary and it's kind of dumb and boring. Um, this is kind of the same way, except, um, I don't know, maybe this could have been executed a little bit better. I mean, I don't know what I'm expecting from a, a YouTube video from 2011, but, you know, whatever. Um, the premise overall is pretty good, but the execution is kind of bad. So um, if, if, if you guys like these videos, um, tell me to do more. Peace out. Uh.